Testing the limits of human strength is an ancient tradition, and in today's world, the most Herculean challenges for strength athletes are strongman competitions. The annual World Strongest Man competition remains hugely popular with fans across the globe. In recent years, Poland has enjoyed huge success in the event, with Mariusz Pudzianowski winning a record five titles. He's now retired, but there is another pole following in his footsteps. This is Głowno, a small town in the heart of Poland, some 100 kilometers southwest of Warsaw. Głowno is home to around 15,000 people. Amongst those residents is Poland's current strongest man, a 32-year-old by the name of Krzysztof Radzikowski. I saw an excellent bodybuilder in Krzysztof, and he was showing very good promise for the future. Not only that, he was tall, symmetrical, with very good bone structure and muscles. He had all the attributes to become a superb bodybuilder, and we've brought a few of those through our gym already. Krzysztof joined a local gym in his mid-teens. But disillusioned with bodybuilding's focus on aesthetics rather than physical strength, it wasn't long before he switched his focus to strongman. Inspired by watching other Polish strongmen on TV, Krzysztof decided to enter himself into competition. Well, obviously you want to test your abilities. I would watch it all on TV, how the boys were lifting and so on, and I wanted to do something like that. So a friend of mine welded some weights for me. I had a homemade beam built, and it began from there. Then one day, a friend suggested that I take part in the Polish Under-23 Championship. I went, met lots of new people, including Jarek Dimek, and I ended up winning the competition. Krzysztof became friends with former Polish champion Dimek and in 2008 went to watch him compete in nearby Łódź. There he first met the legendary Mariusz Pudzianowski. I approached Mariusz, said hello and introduced myself. I asked him if he would consider training me, because I'd read in one of the newspapers that in spring, either in April or May, there would be qualifiers for the Polish Strongman Cup. It was called Varka Strong then and was on TV, which gave it tremendous prestige. Mariusz said, OK, but first show me how you lift this beam. It weighed 155 kilos and I lifted it easily, so he gave me his phone number. He then trained me for the championships. Out of 